Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Bit of an exciting one, well exciting for us. So, right behind me is our 1947 Willys Overland truck that we have been, I wouldn't say restoring, maybe just uh, reborning. Getting up to a running state, rebirthing. Rebirthing, I guess. Getting it from a barnyard find to a road going vehicle again. It has been unknown umpteenth amount of years since it has been on the road or even run um, so if you want to have a look at there's only a few little build bits on it in our last few videos but it is in a roadworthy state it is finished um, we're not like I said it's not a full resto no. but we'll just do a quick little walk around tell you what we've done and what it's at Isabel's back um, but yeah, so in this video we will be hiring a car trailer and taking it down to Coffs Harbour, or just out of Coffs Harbour, to Glen Ray for Camp Coffs 2024. Ready. And then Can't we'll come wait. home, get ourselves packed up and organised. Yep. Come back, get the van and start make, heading down. Make the way down there. Yep. Ready. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. But we'll give you a quick look. So I'll give you the camera. Sure. So basically, this state it was in, um, I'll get him to put some photos in here of how it was when we received it. Um, so basically, we have rubbed it back to a nice smooth finish uh, and just clear coated it. So it has been cleared, so it is, it is sealed, like all the rust is all sealed up. As you can see, you would have saw in the photos, all the glass has delaminated. So in these, it was two sheets of like three and a half mil, four mil glass that were glued together and that glue had let go and separated. So it's all new glass in it now. Uh, we'll walk around, obviously we've got new tyres. So we stayed with the military. So just a quick little background. Basically everything in this is like a military Jeep. So this is the first civilian Jeep you after the war. So everything is just military in it. So basically 600 by 16 military tires. Um, we had to put all new brakes in it. So it's got all new brake lines, uh, new wheel cylinders, new shoes. So obviously while that was apart, we greased all the bearings. Bearings were all in good nick. They just needed greasing. Um, everything come undone, to, undone really nicely, so thank God for that. Uh, as we come around, as you would have saw in the photos, the whole the old tray was just completely fallen apart. It was unsavable, unfortunately. It would have been really nice to reuse that timber, but we have made a whole new tray. So we've just gone with pine, just for the like treated pine, just for the weight because these are gutless. So these have got like 50 horsepower on a good day. So we just went with pine and then stained it in. Um, oh, Mobile. Mobile. New, New Mobile. Mobile. <laughs> uh, which was a nice brown colour. We were going to go with um, Jarrah, but there was a bit too much red. We red. just felt we wanted it brown because we don't know in the future if we're going to paint it, what colour we'll paint it, if it stays like this and this fits perfectly. But we did stay with a really old sort of 40s, 50s design timber tray. Um, so it's all just bolted together. It is a timber, all timber framed. Um, there's nothing flash about it. We went with a 50 litre stainless tank that we end up getting off Chris here at um, Chris's place in Guy been traveling. Um, it's an old tank out of his last coffee car. So it's got yeah 50 litre stainless tank. That's just a filler straight through the tray, old school. LED lights on the back to sort of button up the, button up the back of it. Um, there are three in one, so Parker, brake light, indicator, all in one. Um, because we are getting full-time rego on this, so we need indicators and all that sort of stuff. Uh, around this side, all shackle bushes were good, thank God, because they are a bronze bush in these, so all that was in really good nick. New gear all throughout. Inside, what do we do inside? Nothing really, do we? All that's done inside is dash lights converted to 12 volt, because obviously this was a 6 volt car originally. Um, so we just got to get new 
covers for where the glove box used to be. So that side there, someone in the past has cut a hole for a CD player. And yeah, we'll get all that fixed up down the track. Um, I'll give us a look under the bonnet, I think. That's where we're at. See, as you can see, the air conditioner is on. While you're there, I'll show you, I'll show you how the air conditioner works. So aircon is currently on. Off. <laughs> on. So that's our, that's our air conditioner. There is no heater, none of that. It's same as this thing, basically bare bones. There's nothing flash in them. Uh, all new wiper arms. That's all from Kaiser Willys in America. So new wiper arms, blades. Uh, what else did we get from them? A couple of little odds and ends. Under here. Under here we have the, the Willys L134 Go Devil. Um, so this is basically the same as a military Jeep. The only real difference between this and a military model was these have a balanced crankshaft and gear driven timing. The military Jeep has a timing chain. Um, under here we ended up with a new intake manifold, new carby, plugs, leads, coil, new radiator, new radiator hoses, oil filter, um, obviously battery to convert it all to 12 volt. The old old radiator, unfortunately, was just unstable. It had been fixed that many times that no one wanted to touch it. But under there, that's basically everything. Oh, and we've gone to a alternator um, because converting to 12 volt, obviously, we need an alternator, not a generator. But I think that's buttons up under there. We just fit literally. I just finished putting a uh, lengthening the exhaust and putting exhaust tank rubber exhaust hangers and that on it to try and get the exhaust back a bit um, but yeah so on the front you can see we went with LED headlights um, basically I know they look shit so leave that in the comments they look rubbish but they are a park light an indicator a low beam all in the one light because these originally had no indicators so I'm going to turn these into indicators and then we can go to a more of a retro headlight but that's all yet to come I need to get bulb sockets for the back of them and that sort of thing but yeah that's our willies. It is finished. Thank God. I think Em's very <laughs> happy with that. But, um, yeah, I don't think there's much more to say, is there? No, I think that's it. Like, it's all buttoned up. She's all fresh and all ready fresh to and go. Running and red, like, like I said, we're hoping for Rego. I can get Club Rego, but we want full time Rego. So, um, unfortunately, because we are Queenslanders, uh, we can't get New South Wales Rego with Queensland licenses and just all that rigmarole. So to register before Coffs, we'd have to put on a trailer to go up to Queensland to Roadworthy and register and then back to Coffs. And it's just unviable to do that. So basically, we'll just trailer it to Coffs now and then trailer it from where we're storing it to the campground and then drive around the campground, that sort of thing. Like Coffs, where, where it's held at Glen Ray, it's only a really nice little town anyway. So there's no real benefit to being able to drive it around town, but we can drive it around at the campground. So we'll go now down to the servo and hire a car trailer and load this thing up and head to cost tomorrow. Yay. Yay! All right, guys, so it's all loaded up. It's on the trailer. We are literally heading to Coffs in the morning. Um, we're gonna head down pretty early. Um, but I just wanted to say, we ended up getting the trailer from Burgess Garage here in Gyra. It's a car museum. Um, when we did our exploring Gyra, we did go there and it is an amazing place. But reason behind that is we had booked the trailer through the servo, through U-Haul. Um, basically, long story short, we went there at seven o'clock last night, which is our booking, which we had booked a week ago, and the trailer wasn't there. He'd literally lent, so the bloke at the servo, he's just a, an outlet for U-Haul, and he's just left it out to one of his mates. It wasn't through the booking system, nothing. So there was no, it, they didn't know when it's coming back, they couldn't tell us anything. So you all gave some money back and we thought they can stick it. Um, and then yeah, the bloke at Burge has come through, which was awesome. So all loaded up, weather shit. Um, and apparently it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. Yeah. So we'll basically sit around for today because we don't want to head off now because it's like you know 10 o'clock in the morning. So it'd be too big a day. So we'll uh, head off in the morning and take this for a drive to Coffs and we'll go drop this thing off. All right, so we have head off. We head off at like, what was it, about 10 past five? 10 past five. In the morning. Um, but it was <laughs> shit. Well, you guys can see it's still shit weather. 
it basically was foggy and drizzling the whole way. We didn't even have daylight until um, halfway down the range. halfway down the range. So like half an hour ago, it was unreal. So I didn't bother getting the camera out when we left because no. it was pitch black. But um, and our visibility, like we were lucky to yeah. have 50 meters in front of us, so you guys wouldn't have seen anything. It was so anyway. foggy. <laughs> like, so it's but it's so beautiful trip. here. The weather's shit, but I'm happy. We've got cows behind us. Yeah. So we pulled up here on the way after Camp Coffs last year when we left Coffs Harbour. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if we filmed anything, but it's a beautiful little free camp. It's only, what, 30 out of Grafton? I think it's 30 out of Grafton. Yeah, 30 out of Grafton. Tra yeah. Trailer's going awesome. Um, yeah. Willie's hasn't moved. What? It's the first time it's done 100k in, well, actually, probably forever. <laughs> it's probably never actually done 100k. It probably <laughs> never will again until it gets towed. Until it goes on the trailer again. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're going to jump back in the car head off it's bloody brekkie time so we're gonna find a truck stop in Grafton, Grafton and get a feed <laughs> that cow just picked up it's clearly empty but he just picked up the little calf a packet of um, chips oh he just have some chips for brekkie He's just trying oh, to I'll eat give, the you wrapper. A, give you a look at our new shirt it's still in the design stage but so that's our sentence to life sticker mm -hmm. that we're putting on a shirt um, I'll let you know when we get it perfected. There's a couple little things that yeah, need changing. Just but it's the prototype. But yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna shut up and we'll get in the car and go get some get bloody going. food. <laughs> Right, guys so it's the next day um, I didn't end up filming any of the unloading and putting the willies away down in coughs because it basically after we had a bit of a catch up with the Bowens it just started pissing down rain um, so it was just a case of get off the trailer get it into position and it wouldn't run properly because the fuel filters blocked up with shit so we had to end up towing it up into Graham so huge shout out to Graham for letting us Leave it at his place until coughs, which is like a month away now, I think. Not long. Um, so, we are home, safe and sound. Trailer's been returned. We've just been out driving in Gemma's TJ, guys. And M loves it. So, I think I may have permission to look at a TJ. Which I'm stoked about. I've always wanted one because they are just a flash version of a CJ. And we used to love our CJ. But basically, I've got nothing to do for like a week before we, I think we're heading off in like a week or so. Um, Gyra's show is this weekend coming, so we're gonna hang around for that and then look at heading off. But I've got nothing to do because the Willys isn't here. But as I've shown in the past, Chris's TJ, the tub is all rusted out underneath it. Um, so it's gonna be retubbed. So basically he's given me permission to start pulling it down, to give him a hand to, to strip it down to the chassis so we can organize a new tub and get it back together. So I think until we go, I might start pulling that thing apart. So I might get it into position today. I'm just gonna leave it across the back of the shed because um, Fee parks her Jeep, Jeep in here when she gets home from work every day. So that base, it's empty, but I don't wanna do it there. So I think if I move it this way, 
there'll be enough room to make that a whole big TJ workshop area, which is awesome. So I might have a think about it and then um, get it into position and start dismantling and looking for a TJ. I think I might look for a TJ. I don't know, we'll see how we go. But yeah, so let us know in the comments if you're um, planning on going to Camp Coffs because I want to know how many of our followers are going. And if you're going to subscribe to Jeep Action, let us know. But I'm going to see what I'm going to do. All right, guys, we're here to have a quick chat about one of the best weekends you will have this year at Glen Ray, yeah. just out of Coffs Harbour, and that is Camp Coffs held by Jeep Action. Easter long weekend. God, I nearly buggered that up. <laughs> so yeah, Easter long weekend, it is amazing guys, like it is, last year was our first year and now we are going every year regardless and I guarantee you <laughs> will be in the same boat. So make sure you, you know, come along, have a chat with us, have a chat, meet Michael yep. Bowen, get a coffee from Chris and Gemma from Bean Traveling, you know, yep. get a feed, go out on some tracks. <laughs> but we're ready, well this is nearly ready. Nearly. You want to let them know how they can get ready? Yeah, sure. So to be involved in this great weekend, all you need to do is go and subscribe to the print version of Jeep Action Magazine. No online subscriptions, yeah. it must be the print copy. Um, so that one there will cost you $60 per year. You get six issues for that one there, so great value for that. Um, upon your subscription, you will receive an email for registration for Camp Cough. So all you gotta do is jump on, fill that one out and send it back. If you do have any dramas with this process, shoot an email through to fee at jeepaction.com.au. I'll throw that link down below for you. Um, once all that's completed, Camp Coughs will cost you $135 per subscriber. So that is ent entry fees for a subscriber, their partner and any children. So unfortunately that Not doesn't- Not a party. <laughs> no, yeah, unfortunately that doesn't mean a subscriber and a group of friends. It's literally yeah. just for partners and family. But yeah, so make sure you come along guys. Like there is, there's there's <laughs> trips every day from yeah. you know winch, winch truck all day, four wheel driving treks to mild four wheel driving, two wheel drive, scenic routes. Mm -hmm. We did a scenic last year, it was amazing. Absolutely um, great. It is an incredible weekend. You know, everyone's <laughs> Jeep minded. Yes. You know, you won't regret subscribing to Jeep Action anyway. Definitely not. But yeah, so make sure you come along, come up and have a chat with us, have a look at these two, <laughs> plus the other couple hundred Jeeps that'll be there. Yes. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you there. So as you can see, I've decided to, to start dismantling. So basically just put it in a nice little position, right in the middle there. It can stay there until it gets the new tub. Um, like I said, we're only gonna be hanging around for another, like another week or two. Probably two's pushing it, maybe another week and a bit. So I'll just start pulling it down for him. At least once it's started, he has to keep going, right? But um, yeah, I think his grand plan is basically just a new tub that's gonna stay the factory yellow. Um, while the tub's off, I think he's gonna paint the chassis and all the accents and all that sort of stuff. It's basically, it's not a re like a resto, it's just a new tub. So I'll get on my tools, get everything set up, and start stripping this thing. Now, we've unbolted the back of the cage, but the front we haven't, because when they put the cages in, all the torx bits that hold them are full of 
sound deadening. Yeah. But the floor is that rusty, we're going to give this a go. Ready? So basically we spent spent the day tearing down the TJ. Um, it's pretty well, excuse the washing. It's at the stage now, the tub is stripped, the tub is all undone, it's ready to lift off. We've made a little memorial wall, a little bit of a memorial wall there for the, for the TJ. But basically it's at the stage, the tub is ready to lift off. Um, He's sort of better off leaving it like that now until he finds a tub. That way he can sort of take off all the little bits and pieces, put on the new tub and switch it all over and then build it again. But we are in the process of packing up um, because we're heading off in the morning. We're back on the road. Well, sort of on the road. We're making our way down to Coffs Harbour for Camp Coffs. Um, so we'll go down and give Michael a hand to mark all the tracks. But just before we do go, I want to throw a huge shout out to Dash's Hardware, is that what it's called? Yeah, Dash's um, Home Timber and Hardware. Dash's Home Timber and Hardware here in Gaira. They've been absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. Through the build of the willies and, and everything else, it's an incredible little hardware store, um, all locally owned. Yep. Gaira Cafe, we said in the last video, they're <laughs> absolutely amazing. We fed our face there so many times. Yes. Obviously, Chris and Fee, um, I can't thank you guys enough for letting us pull up in your backyard and basically hijack the shed and build a jeep um that was sort of very unplanned but thank you guys so much and another huge shout out to Gemma um thanks for selling us the willies and basically yeah like, like sort of held onto it for us and yeah. just been awesome company while we've been up here yeah but without further ado we'll get packed up and roll out to Glen Innes Glen but I think we'll film a bit of the drive down I know we've filmed Glen Innes and all that before but <laughs> We'll just take you along for the ride down yeah. to Coffs Harbour and then Why not? the next couple of videos will basically be out wheeling and marking tracks and clearing tracks and getting everything ready for Camp Coffs. But yeah, so don't forget to like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, get out, get your tickets and everything for Camp <laughs> Coffs and we'll see you next week.